Hello and welcome to Ginny's Horse Product Review. I'm Ginny and I'm gonna give you a little trailer tour update. We have moved to our new barn in North Carolina and I'm just gonna show you what's going on with the horse trailer these days. All right, if you haven't seen my full video horse trailer tour, definitely go check that out. We took that while we were out camping at the Oregon coast last year. Right now I'm just gonna give you a mini tour of how the trailer looks at our new barn, how we got it set up basically for use while we're here. So if you're not familiar with this trailer, it is a two plus one made by Gore. And I will take you right into the tack room. As you can see, we have a nice screen door here. Love that. And electric jack also, which rocks. So definitely must have on my list. We have basically kind of storage mode in here right now. We have a couple of bags of shavings that we didn't use on our trip. Um, extra bag of equine senior I have over here stuff in my horse first aid box and I do have a video of what I have in my first aid box if you're interested and then I just have some stuff going on up here helmets halters a girth um, just some extra stuff and we'll pan over here and we don't have the mattress in here right now again we're like in full storage mode not really camping but as you can see we have these great custom built storage boxes and i do have these little light blocking curtains and i put them on command hooks and we lost a hook on this side so i need to get another one but that's great for camping you can see we have overhead storage and also there are USB plugs for plugging in your phone at night, which is awesome. Right now, again, I am just have this place in storage mode, so I have a bunch of saddle pads and other things up here, blankets. If you pan down here, brush bags, another girth, stirrups. There is our one of our water jugs that we use while traveling for the horses. We have boot boxes here, another great use for storage and also a step to get up on the bed. Down here I have my hand washing station, which we use moving cross country, camping, anytime. And now we're at a barn that doesn't have a bathroom, so that is really imperative at this stage. So we'll just come around here and go through to the horse area. Gotta love that step through door. And as you can see, we also have an escape door here, the side ramp, which is luxurious. And again, we don't have a bathroom here. I have my little camping toilet and I do have a DIY video on that. If you've got a whiz and you know, maybe it's crowded, you're not comfortable whizzing in the stall, there's a horse in the stall, or you know, you don't have a lot of cover, you're not going to the woods. There you go. We've got extra buckets here, hay bags literally from our trip, manure fork. And you can see all the great windows I have in here. This is a very well ventilated trailer. I have roof vents see those and we have our tack cart here which I love and I will include links to that in the description if that's something you're interested in for your lifestyle the only recommendation I think that you should do as a modification is get a bridal bag because that keeps your bridles from getting dusty and nobody wants dusty bridles so that's super nice and usually have either saddle pads or covers on the saddles so as you can see, I still have it set up as two box stalls. That's how our horses traveled across country. But we do have a divider that turns the back stall into a straight load, um, like a two-horse straight load style. And there is a ramp on the back. And I'll take you to see that. But yeah, this is basically how our horse trailer is set up while we're at this barn. Now if we go camping, or shows or anything like that. Obviously, we're gonna rejig it a little bit, probably get the divider back in there for short trips. Otherwise, our horses like riding in the box stalls for long distance. And if you haven't seen my video, Traveling Cross Country with Horses, definitely go check that out. We did 2,600 miles and the horses looked and felt incredible. Love this trailer, can't say enough wonderful things about it. So. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. I'd love to hear what kind of trailer you're riding in and uh, hear what your rig is like. Until next time, happy trails.